This is My Vote 2019, the Queen's election coverage, and we had promised you that we'll bring out the voters' voice from the remotest corner of the country. And as part of that, today we are in Shillong with some bright students of St. Anthony's College. Northeast has just 25 seats in the Lok Sabha, and out of that, almost 14 seats come from Assam. And states like Meghalaya have two seats, uh, Mizoram has one seat. And the politicians or the MPs that are chosen from here, do you guys think? they represent your issues do they speak in the parliament yeah i feel like even if they are speaking in the parliament they're not heard enough northeast no matter what you say no matter how many times modi is coming to the northeast just dressing up and wearing your traditional attire that's not going to do anything if you're not going to work for the northeast we're not going to be heard maybe they are talking maybe our politicians are talking but we're not heard enough okay what i know uh, our representative from the shillong seat vincent pala Mr. Vincent Pala, he is really, uh, he really participates in the parliament. His attendance is above 90% in the parliament. So I hope he's speaking for us. Yeah. When you are voting, what is it that you will keep in mind? Are you going to vote? Yes, but the only reason, the only thing that I'm disappointed with the present government at the moment is that we know that in the constitution, like secularism is inscribed. <coughs> but at the same time, we know what the present government is doing. They're trying to turn India okay. into a... Uh, Hindustan, that's the propaganda which is going at the moment. Oh. When I choose my next leader, I have to keep in mind, being a student, I have to keep in mind what, what is in their manifesto for the students. What are they planning to work for the students? The basic thing is what are the job opportunities for the youth today? Because I know I'll get out of college, I'll get my masters probably, but I might be sitting at home doing nothing. So I really need to know if I'm okay. that secure enough. Okay. What do you think is the condition of education, higher education in the Northeast? Still about graduation level, maybe we can because we have uh, a few institutions. But when we think of masters, when we think of higher studies, when we think of jobs, we know we have to move out. At the end, we all know we, we okay. are going to move out. For example, in our own state, the schol many students are fighting for scholarship. <laughs> and this scholarship issue, it's it's been going on for quite some time now. but. It has been, the sanctions for the scholarship funds has been stopped by central government since 2015. How many of you think you will be able to work in the Northeast? Are there enough job opportunities or most of you will be forced to leave this place, go out and work? I won't relate it to the present government because it wasn't there before, it isn't there now. So there aren't enough job opportunities and we all know, especially in, in the field of media, we know that there's not enough opportunity and we're bound to go out, get out of here and get something to yeah. do because we're not going to get enough yeah. jobs here. What the government has been saying is that the connectivity has really improved in the Northeast after it came to power in 2014. There has been rail connectivity, bridges have been constructed, some of which are the longest in India. So, uh, do you think uh, connectivity has really improved? Uh, Travelling for us is still a very uh, um, troublesome for us sometimes and if you have to travel from here all the way to Delhi there are uh, there are uh, airports but then we have to travel from here till Guwahati for the airport obviously we do not have an airport here. So. We have also been seeing a lot of intolerance in the country over the past few years you know you are being targeted for the religion you practice or what you eat and politicians are trying to manipulate these issues to earn the voters confidence and get the votes what's your take on that? Um, I think uh, that is a very wrong practice and I just a recent uh, thing that happened, I read on the news yesterday that Aditya Nath um, commented on some, con I'm really sorry about this but I'm not very being very specific, he mentioned that in a particular temple a person representing the Congress party sat in a manner which looked like he was reading the namaz. Now we don't e do not even have the right to sit in a particular way that we want because then we'll be commented on and that I think is really long, really wrong and they're making propagandas out of these things. We saw this very, very unfortunate incident of uh, Pulwama where more than 40 of our soldiers lost their lives and after that uh, we conducted an attack on, uh, in Balakot in Pakistan. Do you think issues like this have any effect on you guys or will it decide on how you vote in the next elections does it affect our opinions yeah. of course it does because um the the um, the very topic of military defense is is very important especially so for northeast because you know the same uh, border problems that uh, north india has with pakistan we share the sim same or similar problems with china so the way the indian uh, defense or the government reacts to such uh, retaliations does affect yeah. us largely and maybe 
somewhat this NDA government led by Mr. Modi, he had paid somewhat a little bit more attention towards the Northeast. What is your take? Definitely agree so because of the number of visits that have come here. But again, like my friend said, there is no point to visiting us and wearing a traditional attire and speaking a few words in our dialect if you don't implement the kind of promises that you aim to achieve when you say them on the podium. Uh, but um, yes, uh, this particular government has definitely shifted the focus towards Northeast a little bit more. But that is because of the fact that a lot of our state governments are elected officials from that very party. I don't think so. The NDA government has has given much more importance I don't think so maybe they have they have done many more visits to the Northeast but I don't think they have done anything based on the creating jobs because in the whole country the unemployment rate is at its highest in 45 years there you heard the students of St. Anthony's College Shillong clearly an aware group of voters who are gonna vote very consciously they will very consciously look at the candidates who are in the fray, they look at their manifestos and then they will vote. So that's it from me from Shillong. This is St. Anthony's College and you are with My Vote 2019.